for downloading you have to open a web browser where you type DAV C++ 5.11 that is the latest version and if you are going for window 10 so you will type for window 10 and if your system is 64 bit then you will type that you will see the first link will appear on your screen that is Dave C++ download source for dot net so you will click there and you will see a window will appear for downloading the DAVD C++ software. DAVD C++ software is both for C and C++ that is it is an editor for both C C++ so we will click on downloads and the file will automatically start downloading for the software. So there is a message which is shown that download will start shortly. See the now the downloading has been started in the left bottom corner of the screen. Okay. So they C++ 5.11. That is an exe file for our C++ compiler. We have to work on that compiler. So C++ compiler once it will download it then we will install it on my or your system. After installing has been completed it will show you a message thank you for downloading. See your file has been downloaded now it's complete so we will what we will do we will go to the downloads or we will we can double click from here also so we will go to the downloads okay so we will see that executable file is there so we will double click on that file for installing the particular software the dev software into the system okay so we have double click that downloaded file now the process of you know installing into the system is there so now you can see on the screen it will take little time for installation now it will ask you for which language to use so we will choose english and then little things more now you will click on i agree right now in this dialog box you have to choose which components you want to add or you want to add the all components so I will go with the we go with the all component tree also you can change this directory so we will click on installation button okay so we will click on install see the process has been started okay now all the files which are related to dev c++ 5.11 all the files are extracted so that the software can be installed in our system okay it will take a while for installing all the files all the files have been extracted from the software to install into the system right so it will take little time so you can see all the files all all the header files all the you know uh, files related to the software are extracted from the software which we have installed and they are installed into our system right after installing we will click on finish you can see all the uh, software has been installed we will click on finish there's an option uh, which is with the checkbox says that run dev c++ that means after finishing automatically the software will be open so we will check it uh, click and then it will ask you some more options that means where what language you are using with this so we will use english original then we will click next there are some more options related to font color icon so we will take as it is we will say icons new look and other options we will take as it is so we will click on next button 
so then the for finishing we have to click on ok so we will click on ok now our dev c++ has been configured successfully we will click on ok now uh, after clicking ok we will see a dev c++ 5.11 id is there in front of our you know screen so we can see the dev c++ 5.1 for opening a source file, we have to click on what? New. So we will click on new to the source file. Then see, now this is my editing window where I can type my C or C++ program, right? In this, uh, you know, in this ID, new thing is that, that some codes will be automatically typed and installed in the software which helps the programmer while writing the code. Hope all the steps are clear now. So we will meet in next lecture. Have a good day. Take care.